Hello, hello guys, welcome back. Last time we've written um, print F, or at least a subset of it. So today we're going to move to um, enhance the physical memory map that we got from the BIOS. We'll uh, enhance it, we'll write a few helper functions to uh, be able to allocate memory pages and do some things with them, because we are actually going to need them uh, for the following things we're going to have to do. Right, let's get to it. Okay, so here we are, writing C code. Oh, right, so let's start by creating um, physical memory manager uh, dot H, physical memory manager dot C, and let's get started. So, if not defined, um, PMM, something like this, and F, and here we can just go ahead and define a few functions that we will need. So first of all, um, I am going to define this um, PM underscore init, which would be our function to initialize our physical memory map then I think we're going to need another function that would let us basically allocate um, pages on the memory map. So here we'd want to allocate memory given a size, which would be u32. And we would also would want to give it a type so that we can mark it with a type. Yeah, something like this. All right, um, I guess we need to include um, types in this uh, so that we can use URI2, and I think that should be fine for now. So let's get cooking. So here we include, uh, oops. pmm.h, and we create our first function, pm init. I think we did something wrong here because pm alloc should um, return a pointer to void, uh, which is, I guess, another way to say a generic pointer to some generic um, type. Um, right, so let's. Uh, Write this here, so pm alloc, and we said u32 size and u32 um, type. Oops, there we go. And here it's going to tell us that we are not returning anything, so let's uh, return um, oh yes, zero for now. Uh, that should be fine. First thing we need to do here is to define. Um, so one of the things I did off um, off camera was I um, here in boot info, I've added actually a few defines for the things that we had defined in the um, start. Um, so in the assembly uh, side of things. So these things that we've had here uh, in structs dot ink, um, and I've redefine some of these things here in boot info. Uh, I've noticed that we had some issues uh, basically here in um, the memory map types. We used zero, one, and uh, we set a CPI to three for some reason. We've uh, basically skipped uh, two, which is something that we need to fix bo both here and in the um, assembly. And also I've uh, created this thing here uh, called um, a mmap entry, uh, which is basically the memory map entry as we've defined it. Um, again, let me just open this up. Um, yep. Yeah. So here at boot info mmap, what we've said, what we've agreed to use, the convention we used is we are going to uh, put in a U64 for the pointer, for the base address for, of the memory region. Uh, a U64 for the size, and if you remember, we had a memory type, um, and we decided 
that since the pointers um, start pointers are all page aligned, meaning that they have um, so they are aligned to zero x one thousand, right? Which is um, four thousand ninety six uh, bytes, which is a page on uh, x sixty four. Um, and that means that all these significant 12 bits are always clear on, on those um, pointers. So what we've decided to do is we decided to encode the um, type on the lowest or least significant byte or 8 bits of that pointer, right? So here we're going to use this uh, struct so we will need we we'll need it here. So let's uh, let's go ahead and include uh, boot info dot h, and we will also need to do a few things. Or rather, let, let's first use this. So we will we will declare here a a map entry pointer, which would be um, pm entries, right? So this would be a sort of way that we can index globally the memory map entries that we have. And since this is defined in uh, pmm.c, um, okay, this is definitely not pmm.c, so let's move this these two things um, here. Um, right, so now we have them in pmm.c, meaning that this would be sort of a global variable, but it's only visible from pmm.c, so um, yeah. Um, right, and the first thing uh, we're gonna do here is we're gonna set uh, pm entries to, um, and we also need bootloader info, so we have it here, uh, boot info, sorry. Um, so we'll set this to uh, the address of boot, um, boot info dot mmap. There we go. Um, and this uh, this mmap field here is this one here. It's just a placeholder that points to the address of the memory map. Um, right. So here we have the mmap. Now what we need to do is we need to know how many we have, how many mmaps we have. So what I'll do is I'll go up here. I'll create a U32, something like this. Um, and I'll call it um, PM entries count. Uh, initialize that to zero. And we also would like to do um, so something like a Boolean. Um, so we want to gate the fact that we finished doing the initialization before we can allocate stuff. So we will gate that with uh, this boolean here. Um, okay, so it doesn't know what bool is. Um, let's see, what did we define in types? Um, Right, so we okay, so we don't have a boolean type in C unless we include a uh, std bool, um, which I don't really want to do right now. So let's just um, create our own boolean type, right? So let's type def u8 to bool and let's uh, bound define. Uh, false. Uh, should, yeah, let's put it this way. Um, and let's type def true to one. Yeah, so that should be our makeshift boolean. Um, should be fine for now. Right. So now I guess does it know what boolean is? Yep, that's cool. Um, and I guess we need to do something like this. Should be happy now. Um, right. So um, PM entries, right. So I said we need the count of those. 
So while um, let's uh, let's do something like this. Um, so let's do a map. Yeah, that should be fine. A map um, entry pointer um, should be PTR equals to uh, BM entries. And we go from uh, PTR, or actually we go as long as PTR is less than um, boot info um, plus. Okay, so we, we probably need to convert these to just uh, U32s. So here we'd have boot info dot. Um, what did we call it? No, size, I think. Yep, size. So, uh, yeah, while we are less than the size of the total, uh, or should I say total size of the boot info struct, we keep going and we do, um, uh, so we call that entries count plus plus, and of course, pointer uh, plus plus. Yep. So now we have our uh, the our entries we have also the count of our entries so now we want to i'd like to say sanitize our entries so let's call it sanitize um fizz map um or maybe just sanitize entries and then of course here at the end um i want to uh basically open the allocations since we finished the initialization Right, so here we can go ahead and do void uh, sanitize entries. Um, okay, so here what we need to, what we want to do in sanitize entries is we want to uh, first of all uh, sort them, um, then merge the entries of the same type that are. Um, I should say um, contiguous. There we go. And we should then, um, yeah, I think for now, these are the two main things that we need to do. So let's first uh, sort them, okay? So we will try to write a very simple, uh, yeah, don't do that. Uh, a very simple sorting algorithm, something like a bubble source. So let's go from u32i um, equals to zero to... Um, so yeah, we have pm uh, entries count minus one since we are doing bubble sort. And of course, plus plus i. And here we'd like to... Um, so we should do something like this, entry, um, entry i, and this would be um, pm entries plus, uh, plus i, right. And here we will go and do, um, so, should do something like um, something like this, and here we'll go from um, so u thirty two j equals to i plus one, um, yeah, i plus one. Given that j is less than the pm entries count. We um, go J++ and what we are going to do here is we are going to try to find the, uh, an entry that's smaller than the um, entry I. And by smaller, we are comparing the base addresses. That's what we are going to, to sort on. Um, right, so let's do that. Um, so here what we need to, to have is a map entry pointer, let's call it entry j, this would be pm entries 
uh, plus J. And of course we do um, if, um, right, so we need some way to get the, um, the start pointer from an entry, given that we said that the entry, the, the pointer field on the entry, um, let me just go back here. The pointer field on the entry here is, um, this is uh, start, or should I say, um, yeah, start address, but with uh, the type as the last byte. And this should be something like this. Um, something like this, right? So this is the structure that we currently have on this uh, pointer thing. So let's create something that will basically extract this for us. All right, so the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna define a few um, helpers, I guess, helper macros. Um, so let's call this PM, um, what should I call this? Uh, PM start, go like this. It takes a um, sub x, and here what we're gonna return is x, um, and x would be a pointer to uh, a map, and we're gonna return x uh, ptr, right? Yep, and we're gonna end it with the the mask. Actually, let's just define also create a defined for. Um, PM pointer mask, right? This would be uh, FF, 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 um, zero, zero. Um, right. And here we're gonna define PM, um, PM um, type mask. This would be zero X FF, right? And this would be PM uh, pointer mask that we want to return and here we want to define also since we are doing this let's define a type of some x um, and type of x would be pretty much the same thing as here but we end it with pm uh, pointer uh, not pointer sorry type mask there we go and since we're doing this, let's give ourselves a bit of um, of help here and do um, and also. So this would save us a bit of typing. So the and would be x dot pointer plus x size, right? And um, actually. Why would we do this? We could just do um, start and give it x plus pm. Let's create one for size also, plus size of x. So here we go and uh, define pm size um, of x, and this would just be um, size. Let's do something like this. All right, so let's do this again. Uh, surround with that and here too. Oops. Surround with parentheses. There we go. And um, yeah, I, I guess I'd want to also um, just put the X between uh, parentheses so that if we have some x if x is an expression um, we don't run into some weird um, preprocessor errors so let's uh, do that All right so let's uh, let's keep doing these and here it should be fine and this also should be pretty okay 
I guess we didn't need the parentheses here. Um, right, that should be that should be okay. So let's just do something here. Um, yeah, I, I'd like to have this uh, be uh, prefixed with entry also. So let's do something like this, and this would need to be entry, and this need to be needs to be entry. All right, so that should be fine. So now that we are here, so we want to compare the uh, start address of um, entry i and entry uh, j. And if entry j is less, so um, pm entry start of entry j is less than pm entry start of entry i, then we basically are going to swap them. And we are also going to set did swap to true. And here let's swap them. So we need to do something like uh, mmap uh, entry pointer temp is equal to um, entry i. We do um, entry i. Uh, oops, this should not be a pointer, otherwise we would be doing something wrong. And this would need to be dereferenced. And here we are going to write, uh, we are going to write um, in entry i, we are going to write entry, so we need to dereference it, entry j. And in entry j, we are going to write um basically tmp there we go um here it's complaining that we are doing some uh shady conversions so let's uh let's do something else here let's uh just index it as uh, as an array and get the address of that and of course, this would need to be a pointer. So let's do this again for um, J. Or I guess did that. Um, yeah, maybe that did solve our problem. But yeah, this might be a bit of a better um, way to notate this these things. Um, right. So here. We can just do this, that's fine. And of course, um, so yeah, we need to go out of it. So if we did not swap, that means that we've reached the, um, so basically our, our, our structure is solid, so we need to just break out of the loop. And that's a uh, quick under T bubble sort. Okay, so now that we have sorted the things, we need to merge the contiguous entries when they are of the same type. So let's do that now. So let's go ahead and write another for loop here. And we'll uh, again go from um, URI to I, zero, I is less than PM entries count, and plus plus the I. And we would want to do, um, yeah, so since we want to, to go um, in basically, um, Compare i and i plus one will just go to a uh, number of entries minus one. That way, we, the i plus one would always be um, defined. Okay, so if uh, we call that pm um, entry type of, uh, well, now we need the um, entries themselves. So, um, we, let's create them. So 
a map entry pointer entry i equals to let's reuse our um so pm entries of i and a map entry pointer um entry uh yeah actually you know what <laughs> uh, i'm gonna just row dog the entries directly here um so this would be entry i um and that's the type if the type of entry i is equal to pm uh, entry type um of pm entries um of j and of course i'm forgetting the to take the address here there we go um right so if we have that then we just go ahead and check the 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 length um oh um and something i forgot to do hmm i it's it's not really something that we will encounter in the real world but it's uh, always good to keep it in mind i guess uh, and that is we might have some uh, memory entries that are um, overlapped so uh, we might want to check for overlap and if we have overlap we might want to resolve it but it's not something that we are going to do now because i know that we are not going to um, find ourselves in this case with the kind of testing that we are going to do so let me just write that as a sort of to do and we'll move uh we'll move on from here so uh check for um overlap and resolve there we go and just do something like this cool um right so here we check the entries they are the same type so let's Oh, uh, actually, something else we need to check is um, basically there should be contiguous, right? So we need to check that the um, end of the ith uh, ith entry is, and this should be i plus one. The end of the ith entry should be the start of the um, entry i plus one, right? So pm entry um, end of uh, pm entries of i should be equal to uh, pm entry and or oh, start sorry, sorry start of uh, so ref to pm entries of i plus one is it correct yeah it looks good to me all right, so now that we know that the entries are both of the same type and they are both uh, contiguous, so what we need to do is we just basically need to extend the first entry by um, increasing its size and removing the second entry by... Um, um, so here we have two choices. So either we... Um, basically uh, move all the entries uh, below uh, i up one step basically um, if we had something like uh, e1 entry 2 entry 3 and entry 4 and for example we found that E1 and E2 were the same type and were contiguous. We could just do something like this, right? So E1 would be uh, taking the space of E2. Um, E2 would have zero space now. So what we could do is we could move E3 into E2 and E4 into E3 and then basically say that uh, this doesn't exist anymore. 
And by doing this, we could basically solve our issue. Or we can just leave um, E2 there as a zero size entry. And after this, do a second for loop to basically um, clean up all the zero entries. But I guess we could just stick with this one because it's simpler and we'll see how it goes. Um, right, so let's change this. Um, right, so now that we know that uh, we want to move those entries, we are just going to do um, basically uh, PM entries of I um, and we're going to take its size and the size would basically get incremented by the PM entries of I plus one dot size. Oops, dot size. There we go. Um, right, so with that, it's done. And now we just need to basically move all the other um, entries up one step. So for U32, um, should probably have defined. Um, yeah, let's let's do it. It's it's nice. So I uh, and J, just define them there. Um, do that. Do that, and do that, and here we could just do J equals zero. Uh, um, yeah, no, J would be equal to I plus one, of course. Um, and we go all the way to PM entries uh, account. And we do plus plus J, of course. And here we just do swipes, basically. So um, PM um, entries of j would be um, equal to pm entries of j plus one. And that means that here we need to do this. And at the very end, we need to tell it that the count of the entries has decreased by one. So this would need to go down. And, oh yeah, of course. And we will also need to do, um, since boot info will be reused by our bootloader, um, we need to decrease the size of uh, boot info dot size by the uh, the length of one uh, mmap entry given by uh, size of, um, we call it mmap entry. Uh, there we go, something like this. Um, yep, that's good, 16. And I think we will need to probably go back on I, because we, um, so here we are on I, and we want to check this same entry with the one that's basically in I plus two. Um, to see if it's still uh, contiguous to us. So yeah, we need to um, do i minus minus so that when we go back to the for loop, the i gets incremented again and we um, get the same i that we've started with and we do the check again but with the next entry so that we don't skip it. Um, right. So that's uh, that's good. So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Um, leave a bit of space, a bit of formatting, save this. Okay, so now that we've done um, sanitizing the, uh, the entries, what we want to do now, what we will want to do is we want to basically use our new printf facilities to see them, right? So let's add... Um, pm uh, print map or let's just call it pm print um, 
and let's do a for loop that basically goes from ui to i equals zero, same um, same things again, i less than pm entries count, and uh, plus plus the i, and there we go. So here we'd want to basically get the um, in map entry uh, with a pointer, uh, call it entry, and this would be just uh, pointer to pm. Well, let's go. pm entries of i. Right. And here we'll do a printf. Um, and of course, for that, we'll need to import um, include. Uh, console.h obviously and let's see here um, right. so let's uh, let's do this so we need this from console.h we'll just do um, so let's first print something like uh, print f and do something like this and here we'll do a tab and we'll end it with a new line and we'll do memory uh, region something like this and we'll print maybe something like this hmm uh, well, let's print hex hex is good so this go into so start and and oops uh, and to size or just z equals to and this would be just some number or maybe we should also print the size in hex just so that we can compare it to what we see in our uh, in the um, memory dump on the uh, debugger. And, oh yeah, the type, obviously. So let's do something like this. And the type would be, um, I guess, sort of a string. Right, so let's, um, let's give it the uh, things. So pm entry start, of course, of entry. And pm um, entry and there we go of entry and um, pm uh, entry size and what was the last thing? It was a type. So for the type, we don't have um, a, a string, so we will probably need to add. A sort of function here that returns i8 pointer. Um, let's call this type to stir something like this, and it would take a u32 um, type. And here we'll just do a switch. Um, on the type and so for the types that we currently have um, let's take a look at root info right so uh, hold on we are my types though um oh oh so these ones okay cool so case zero would be um used so return uh, used there we go case one would be return um what's one 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 is free right case i guess 
we don't have two. Um, so actually, let's fix the gap that we have currently. So uh, ACPI would be two, uh, reclaimable would be three. And that means that we should also have that, um, or at least the same uh, things done also on here. So X and control X. Um, yeah, that looks um, better. So let's uh, actually do save all. And yeah, let's go back here, do a two there. And here we return um, a CPI. And case uh, three now, we would return um, reclaimable. Uh, reclaimable. There we go. Um, and actually, let's just do for uh, completeness sake, let's return. Um, one, um, no, something like this. Okay. Um, right. So let's go here and do, um, type to stir of, um, of what of PM, uh, entry type of entry. There we go. That should do it. And with this, let's first take a look at what we have. Um, so hold on a bit. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Um, right, so let's uh, give this a compile and we see what we have. All right. Um, all right, so we have a few errors and a few warnings, so let's, um, let's go through those. All right, okay. Uh, I see where we might have done a bit of a typo. There's definitely a typo in here. There we go. So that should be okay. And back member, that should be fine. Um, and this. Oh yeah, okay, definitely, yep. Yep, you are right about that, Mr. Compiler. Uh, okay, so let's try this again. Okay, this time we have no errors, but we still have a few warnings. So let's take a look. Um, take an address of backed. Um, yeah, that's not something that we need to worry about now. Um, and use parameters. Yep, that's that's fine. That's uh, that's pretty okay. So let's do this, and let's just run QEMU. And of course, we forgot to call our uh, function from main. Cool. Very typical. Right. Um, so here I also want to expose pm uh, print right uh, let's see yep that's how we defined it and I'd like to go here since we don't use boot info anymore we can just get rid of it and since we um, yeah so let's just include uh, so bound include uh, pm h that should be fine and we just go here and do pm um, print is what we've called it. Oh, um, before we do print, of course, we should do pm init. 
right. And let's see what we get. All right, so do we have more warnings? No, we don't have more warnings, so let's get uh, Okay. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit. Um, maybe too much. There we go. Um, right. So we definitely have something printing. Uh, the side, the ends. Um, yeah, we might have a problem. Right. So we have a um, bit of a bug here. Um, so the start addresses, at least these first ones, look okay. Um, the and addresses are wrong, and the sizes, um, I guess most of them look okay, but this one here is bad. And of course, the types is not written correctly. So this leads me to believe that um, this is a, um, I'd say, a formatting issue on the uh, print that we're doing, because here we know that we have uh, seven memory map entries and our boot size info has the correct size. Um, yeah, so it's an issue on um, on printf. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Right, so in printf, last time we have um, implemented some of printf, basically, just... Um, a subset of it and will not implement anything to do with the longer ends and I think that that is what is causing our problem because uh, what's happening is that since we're passing um, PM entry start, PM entry end which are uh, U64s um, since this, um, yeah, this is not what I wanted to see what I want to see is this, and yep, so here pointer and size are both uh, U64s, so if we pass them as U32s, they will get um, truncated, and that means that we will print some random um, things. Well, actually not random, but um, we'll print half of the number. So... Um, I guess the way to solve this is to implement some sort of hack to be able to do this, right? So, um, you long arg. Yep. Okay. So here, instead of calling this uh, hex to a, we'll do um, hex long to a. Create a new function. And we will try to implement this without doing any 64-bit uh, division or uh, mod operations. Um, so let's see what we can do. Uh, first of all, let's uh, define it here. Um, so this would be u64 value i8 uh, buffer. Uh, okay, and then if we go here, uh, let's put it just below this. Um, so U32, um, or should, what do I call it? Uh, hex long uh, 2A, okay, give me that. Um, right, so here what we will try to do is we will try to leverage what we did here for 32 bits. Um, to basically um, print the uh, U64. And the way I think I'll do it is I will reinterpret the U64 as if it is two 32-bit uh, ints. 
So um, to do that, I guess I'll just do something like type the union, um, call it uh, u64 um, u64 word, and here in the union I'll put uh, u64, and I'll call it u64, and I'll do something like this struct and call this u32. And here in the struct, I will define two user twos. Um, so here we'd have a low part and a high part. And the issue is the low and the high part, the order between the low and the high part will depend on the um, Indianness of the platform that we're on. Um, so for the machines that I am running this on, I will have low first and then high, but um, on some other, so this is for a uh, little Indian, for big Indianness, uh, high would come first. And actually, we could do something like, um, if I remember this, something like, um, if, um, what is it, um, if, Something, something byte, um, byte order, I think. It's cool. And this would be something like, uh, right, so this goes like order um, big Indian and Something like this. And of course here we define U32 um, high first and U32 low after that. There we go. So this would make it um, usable on different uh, architectures, but I don't really care about different architectures for now. I just want this to be, um, I just want this to work. So here we've created this union, and um, if you don't know what unions are, look it up. It's very powerful stuff. So what I'll do here is I'll create um, this, call it W, and I'll init this by setting the U U64 sorry field of it as my value. Um, right. So now what I can do is I can. Uh, just create something like this, written um, in it to zero. This is basically the um, the length that we've written to the buffer, and I will do written uh, plus equals, and then I'll leverage the H two A, and I want to first write the high part and then the low part. So what I'll do is I'll do W dot U thirty two but high and um, high, sorry. And to that, I will pass buffer plus written. Um, could have just passed buffer um, because written is zero. I'll just pass it here so that I can do uh, a bit of a copy paste there. So, um, and here I'd pass the low part. Of course, here I'd return the written um, length. There we go. So with this, I sh I think we should have um, I think we should have support for long hexadecimal numbers. So let's give it a uh, a try. Um, right, H L two A, H L two A, H L two A. Okay, so it's well defined, and of course we just need to um, go ahead and change these. Right. Um, right, that looks good. So let's give it a uh, a compile and see what we get. And here we go. Okay, so let me just zoom in a bit. Okay, so it's it's a bit better, but the numbers are still wrong because um, hmm. Okay, I think I see what it is. Uh, so the 
numbers are wrong because in our printf, um, or rather in our uh, H2A implementation, we just stop uh, where the number stops and we don't do any padding for the number. So if we want this to work um, by writing the, first the high part and then the low part, that means that we will need to pad uh, the numbers to uh, basically its full length um, to eight hexadecimal characters. Uh, otherwise, we will have uh, a mismatch between where the high part stops and when the low part stops. So let's do that. Um, I'll just go here and do while. So basically, we just want index to go all the way to eight always. Um, what am I doing? Um, right, something like this. Um, so while index is less than eight, we do buffer um, at index plus plus equals to, um, yeah, let's just write zero in there. Um, so, okay, and I think we should also pad zero. So what I'll do is I'll just delete delete this code so that um, zero could also go through all this. Uh, zero would skip this check here because uh, value is not larger than zero and it will directly go to the uh, while loop to uh, basically write the padding in, in buffer. And with this, um, written should always be 16 at the end of this. Uh, which is 8 plus 8. Um, but I guess there's no need to, ch to check for that for now. So let's just um, give it a, uh, a try. Okay. Um, so let me just zoom this a bit more. So here we can see that with the padding that we have, um, we actually do have the full numbers. And if I zoom out a little bit, you can see that um, even the and and the size are okay. And now we're even getting the um, the type, uh, whereas before we just had some garbage written in there. So yeah, with this we have this bug fixed, so we can move on. Okay, so now let's um, get to the allocation part that we wanted to do. Um, so first thing here, I I assume that we'd need the full UD24 type, but we don't really have that many types that we're going to use, so just um, put that as byte. And of course, I'll need to change that here. There we go. Um, right. So now that we did this, so first of all, um, we will need to align the size that we're getting to a page, since we're basically allocating memory pages. Um, and a page is something that's defined per architecture. In our architecture um, that we're uh, building for here, a page is um, 4096 uh, bytes, um, but uh, since it depends on architectures, we will need to define it somewhere where it's uh, easily um, changeable. So let's um, let's start first by doing something uh, here. So we'll take size, and we'll need to align it to a page, and of course we'll align it up to a page. So let's do something like align up and say that we want to align uh, size to um, to architecture uh, page size. Let's do something like this. Um, so here we need to define this uh, align up macro and we'll need to define this arc page size somewhere. Uh, but now that we have our size um, aligned up, we need to check, um, I guess we could check that 
the um, so if since we said that we're gonna gate uh, allocations with this, if uh, not allocations enabled, we should just um, print uh, print f. Allocations are not yet enabled. Um, there we go. And return. Um, and I will define this. Um, oh, actually, we're doing C. We're not doing C. So we'll need to define um, this null pointer somewhere in our types here. So we'll just define it as a um, void star zero. There we go. Um, right. So now that we have that returned and we know that we have our size that's aligned up, we need to first find a page entry or a um, memory map entry that basically has enough of free memory to fit size. Um, right, so let's just go and do a for loop. Uh, use to i zero, um, i is less than uh, pm entries uh, count and uh, plus plus i. And now what we're gonna do is if the current um, PM entry uh, type of the current PM entry, entries of I. And of course, let's not forget to take a pointer to that. Um, if this type is different from um, from three, which we've defined m type three. There we go. Uh, this should have been defined here, and of course we fixed the gap, so we can just get rid of this. Um, that's good. So if we, um, if this memory is not free, so basically we just ignore it and continue. Um, there we go. Um, otherwise, now we know that we have a block of memory that is free, so we need to check how long it is. And we need to check that our size fits within this uh, this block of memory. Right, so let's check first of all, let's do um, U64, and this would be the allocation and, and this would be um, basically our uh, entry, uh, PM, PM entry, uh, entries of I, and we're going to take the, um, so basically the start, so PM uh, entry start of this, and we'll add to that size. Right. And actually this, um, yeah, so now we have the allocation end, and what we need to check is um, if the allocation end, so basically the, um, the end of the zone that we want to allocate, if we are going to allocate in this uh, entry, um, if it is higher than PM uh, entry end, of the same entry. So basically, uh, we're trying to allocate way too much. Um, or we could compare the size. Um, but the problem is, um, the problem with the size is that we will assume that it, it will be a hard assumption for us that all the uh, physical memory map entries are 
uh, page aligned. Because what we can do here is we can actually go ahead and do uh, U64 and do aligned um, and restart and do something like align up and give it the um, PM entry start of um, PM entries entries of I and of course uh, arc but page size and this would give us uh, an align start and we could just uh, just replace the whole thing here with um, a line entry start. And with this, we don't really have that big dependency on the fact that uh, our entries should be aligned. Uh, we know that they are aligned for now, so this is just, uh, I guess, some defensive code against um, if we want to ever port this to some other architecture. But um, yeah, it works for now. So let's uh, let's uh, let's move on. So entries, entries of I. Um, so if we have this, so we should just basically ignore it and continue because it's too small. So let's uh, do continue. Um, let's do it somewhere like this. Right. So otherwise, uh, if we'll see here, it means that we um, basically found an entry that's big enough that we can allocate from it. And uh, I guess one last check that we need to do is we need to check since we are in 32-bit um, mode, we need to check that we are not allocating beyond the um, 4 gigs mark of RAM because we know that we will not be able to address anything above that. So let's do that check now. Um, so if allocation and um, is above or equal, um, just go above. So X, F, 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 F. So eight of, of those. Um, if this happens, we just go ahead and print F. Um, error. Um, so what's the good error here? Um, can't address uh, more than uh, 4 GB in 32 bits. There we go. And of course, we just uh, return uh, null. There we go. That looks good. So now that we have all these checks out of the way, we can just go ahead and uh, do the actual allocation. Um, but to do that, um, let's just call another uh, function. Yeah, let's put that in another function. So this would be a void star um, result. And this would be something like um, PM alloc range. And here we'll pass it the range that we want to allocate. Um, so hold on. Since we know which, we know exactly which uh, entries, entry we want to allocate from, we can also pass the um, either a pointer to the entry or uh, its index um, to the range, but for now let's just do it very simply, or as simple as we can. So let's pass aligned um, entry start, which is the start of uh, our allocation, allocation and, or maybe let's just pass in size, and we should pass in the type. Um, yeah, looks good. And of course, uh, once we do this, we should just return a uh, result. There we go. Um, hmm. Right, so now let's go ahead and create this function here. So it should return also a, a void 
star uh, and it should be called alloc range it takes a u64 um, which is um, should we call this range start um, a u32 which is size a u8 which is type is that it yep that looks like that's it cool so first of all let's um let's deal with this arc page size first so let's go here and go here and create something that's called arc and i'll call this like 64 um yeah like 64 There we go. Um, yeah, maybe x64.h. There we go. Um, so let's do the, um, if not def thing. Um, so let's call this x64 um, and if. And of course, here we'll define. Um, so arc page size to be 0x1000, which is um, 4096. Okay, so now let's go back here and we will just include this for now. We can do some fancy stuff to do um, with um, preprocessor directive. If we can check which um, for which um, platform we're compiling for and include the uh, um, the file that goes with that. So include that, and then we should uh, actually let's just go here, do something like this. Um, Right, so this one here, it should be, yep, so 4096, four it's good. So now let's uh, define this align up uh, helper that we want to do. So here, what I'll do is I'll create a new header file and I'll call this uh, bitmath um, dot h. Um, and let's see here. So if not define um, we call this bit math um, and if oops there we go. Um, so here we want to define um, a line up of some x and we'll define that as x. We'll take, oh, okay, so we want to uh, align x to some a boundary. Um, so to do that, we'll take x, we'll add a minus 1, right? And we'll take this whole thing here, and we'll divide it by a. And this whole thing here, we multiply by a. And that should do it. So this is basically um, equivalent to a sale function. Um, yeah. Should be fine. Um, and of course, we need to go and define Uh, not define, sorry, include um, bit, oops, there we go, bit math in there, and that should um, fix our problem. There we go, cool. So that shows that the uh, macro expands correctly. So if we look at it here, the macro expansion is correct. So that's good. 
Cool. So now let's write um, this function. I actually want to replace this by just taking the um, probably the range that we are going to um, or just the map the 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 actual uh, entry that we're uh, working with. So this would be pm entry entry. Oh, we call it m map entry. So, um, map entry entry that's good and let's um rename this um a look from entry that should be better and let's pass in the entry which would be here um basically a pointer to entries of i Right, right, right. So let's uh, let's get to this. So first of all, here um, we check that we can add a new entry. Um, should we redo the checks? Um, I guess we don't really need to do the checks. We just accept that we are safe in this function. Um, right. So. What we need to do here is we need to uh, take the size of this entry that we get passed and we basically remove size from it. If it goes to zero, then we basically just set this entry as um, as used and or not as used as type and we return the, the pointer of the style of that entry. If it's not going to zero, meaning that we are going to allocate part of that entry, we need to scale that entry down uh, by reducing its size and moving its uh, pointer, start pointer. And then we need to add a new entry to the entries list and we resort them. So let's do that. So first of all, we need to basically take the... Uh, so U64 uh, entry size is this we know how to get is that with size and this would be just entry, right? And here what we're gonna do is U64 uh, new entry size, which would be basically entry size uh, minus um, the size should probably just rename this size to um, allocated size um, allocation alloc size. There we go. Um, right. So now we have this new uh, entry size. So if um, new entry size is equal to zero. It means that we what we need to do here is just do entry. Um, we're gonna set the pointer of the entry as um, basically its pointer. So pm um, just one underscore pm entry uh, start of entry. And we're gonna end that uh, with uh, the type, basically. So type. There we go. Um, okay. And what we need to do is we need to uh, return um, basically entry pointer as, of course, a void star. That doesn't matter. Right. Okay. Otherwise, um, so otherwise, what we will need to do is we will need to split the entry off um, to to with the allocation and then um, 
we move from there. Um, actually, what I want to do is, um, since we will always return the same value, which is um, entry pointer, um, let's do uh, void star um, ret is equal to pm uh, entry start uh, of entry, of course. And this is technically wrong because we're not taking the pointer, we're taking the uh, pm entry start. So let's get rid of this. And at the end of all this, we should return red. Uh, of course, we need to just gently coerce it to consider this as a void pointer. There we go. There we go. Um, right, so what we're going to do here is uh, obviously entry uh, pointer would basically move um, move by size. Um, and entry, oops, I can't type today for some reason. Entry size would move back by size also. Um, there we go. Um, oh, yeah, we've renamed that um, to a lock size. Lock size, there we go. Um, right, and that means that, so here what we're relying on is we are um, relying on the fact that a lock size would be um, aligned um, to a page, and that means that it, even if we add it to pointer, it's not going to touch the type, which is also on the pointer. Otherwise, to be safe, we could just do something like um, pm uh, entry type of entry. We could do something like this, um, or actually not 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 here, but we could do it afterwards. Um, yeah, but for now, we just assume that this is safe. And we'll uh, we'll see. Okay, so here we've uh, done this. Um, so now what we'll need to do is we need to create a new uh, mmap entry with um, our allocated entry. So let's first do a check. We need to check that we have enough size for that, right? So if, um, what did we call that? Boot info dot um, size yeah if this is larger than so basically we're trying to check if we have enough space to add one more mem uh, mmap entry to um, boot info um, the boot info struct so let's check that we know that we have more than arc minus the size of um, just one mmap entry. So if the size of boot info is larger than uh, arc minus uh, or page size minus one mmap entry, meaning that if we add one mmap entry, we are going to cross a page, the page boundary, and we want it to have um, our boot info on one single page. That is um, 0x a000. And here we're just going to, um, I guess, um, yeah, so we need to return something. Right. We need to return. Okay, so here. We probably, instead of returning void pointer, we probably would need to um, return a boolean. Since this is basically a known quantity, 
the allocation start and allocation size are known to our caller. So let's not do that. And what we are going to do is just go here and return, oops, return false. Um, of course, we've defined false or capital. That's our false. Okay, so here we uh, know that we don't have enough size. We go out, otherwise we do our changes and then we go to, uh, so let's define a map entry uh, pointer, call it um, allocated um, entry. And this would be, um, so what this be is PM um, entries at, um, so PM entries uh, count is the number of them, plus plus. And we're going to take a pointer to this. Uh, right, so this is our uh, allocated entry. So we, we just set the data on it. So allocated uh, entry um, dot pointer. This would be, um, so size, uh, no, not size. This would be the start of the other pointer uh, of the... Um, of the other entry. So we should probably save that before we move it. Or we might just do, um, yeah, let's just move it after we allocate. Um, right, so this would be PM um, entry um, start of entry. And of course, we're going to end with that the type that we've set or that we want to set on this new allocated entry. And of course, allocated entry um, size is just size. There we go. There we go. Um, oh, of course, alloc size. Always forget about this. Uh, okay, so with this, we should be fine. So let's just return true. And here, if we um, well, I guess we can only do one or the other. Um, so let's take this one here. There we go. That looks good, I think. And this here uh, is not the result anymore. Uh, this is a Boolean, so let's check it. Um, let's do an F um, like this. And if this is false, we, um, so what we do here, we just print something, I guess. Yeah, let's just print something. Um, error uh, did not, allocate um, memory. No idea what good error is. Uh, right, so now we need to return something here. So let's return PM. Um, yeah, so let's save the um, so void star result is equal to um, PM entry, PM entry start of this, PM entries of I. Right. And of course, we need to convince it that it's a pointer. Don't worry, bro. And of course, here we just return our result. Um, this could have been a bit cleaner, but I guess it's it does the job for now. Um, we'll come back to this 
to make changes if we need them. Okay, so let's, um, I guess let's use this and see what we get. Okay, so I devised a bit of a uh, test for our um, alloc function. So here what I'm doing is I'm trying to allocate a um, huge number of pages. So here I'm allocating uh, 9,999 pages plus 100 bytes. So that this hopefully gets uh, rounded up to 10,000 pages. Um, and then we go through the first 1,000 pages and we just write... Um, into the um, buffer we just allocated some uh, random characters. And then we uh, print the uh, page map again to see that we actually allocated something in it. So let's build this and see. Okay, so it looks good except the fact that it's not sorted. Huh. Okay, let's uh let's go back and take a look. Um right, so the source should be called here in alloc. Um should be called somewhere here. Okay, so we do call the sort, so that's good. Is it a bug in the sorting function? Oh, um, I am an absolute idiot. Um, right, so after debugging the buggy sort that I've written before and rewriting it to uh, avoid doing the swaps uh, multiple times, um, we now have something that kind of works. So let's give it a compile and let's run this. And here we can see that we actually have our memory region that we've um, allocated um, bang in the middle of our memory uh, map and we can see that the type is reclaimable as we've said it so that's good right that should be pretty much it for uh, physical memory management uh, the only other thing that we want to do that I want to do is to be able to pre-allocate some custom types, um, especially for things like uh, the memory regions that are used by the BIOS and the um, memory regions that you that are used by um, ourselves, the bootloader, we would like to mark them as um, some type so that we can avoid allocating them if uh, if we ask for pages. So to do that, I guess we should do um, should create a new function and this time let's call it look range um, with the uh, pm prefix of course and this range here would be defined by a u64 um, start, a u32, which would be the um, the size of it, and uh, of course a u8, which is a type, and um, a boolean, which would be um, if we want to force the allocation or, or not, or basically if this force boolean is a true, we will look at all the entries to allocate our range. If it's not, we will only look at the um, free to use entries and allocate our range. Otherwise, we will return um, an error. Okay. So let's uh, let's do this. First of all, let's um, change this to be a boolean, um, so that we can give the caller um, sort of indication if it succeeded or not. And let's just um, do the same things that we've did before. So if size is 
zero. Um, I guess we shouldn't do anything. We should just return uh, true. Um, if it's not, then we should compute um, your 64 allocation. And so basically a lot of things that we did before. And this allocation end would be, um, so a line up of the start and we add to that um, a line up of the size, right? And of course we need to uh, specify to what we are aligning these and that would be arc page size. There we go. And now what we need to do is we need to go through all the entries again. Um, so u to i from zero, um, i is less than uh, pm entries count plus plus i. There we go. And now what we should do is um, let's uh, create our entry, uh, a map entry, our pointer, let's call it entry, and this would be, um, yeah, let's keep doing it this way, um, pm entries at index i. Um, right, so now what do we need to do? Um, so if we need to check the type, so if pm um, entry type of entry is different from uh, free and force is false um, yeah we should just continue here um, so let's do something like this and we just continue here. Right. Um, otherwise, we do some checks. So if our start um, should probably, um, I think this alloc range would be used with aligned addresses. So we should not be messing around with these, should probably just use them as um, as we get them, um, I think. Um, yeah, same thing here for the size, so let's uh, just get rid of this and um, something like that. All right, there we go. So now if the start is, um, I guess, bigger than this entry that we have. Um, so start uh, of entry. And the, the allocation end is less than or equal to um, and so basically we want to see if we are allocating from the start of a range or from the middle of a range. So if the start is above the start of the entry that we are currently looking at and the start yeah, is less than the end of that entry, so pm entry end, um, and the, the allocation end is less than or equal to the uh, pm entry end of entry. So basically we are within this entry here, um, either covering it entirely or um, part of it, 
but we are within this entry. So let's uh, let's do this. So here, what we need to do, of course, obviously, is we need to scale um, the entry into its new components. And here we will have a few uh, cases. So um, should do. Um, so ba basically, we'll have three components here. We have the component that's between the two starts, the allocation start and the entry start. We'll have the component that's between the allocation start and the allocation uh, end. And we'll have the third component, which is um, between the allocation end and the entry end. So let's just compute the sizes of every component. So um, let's call that um, header um, length, and that would be the so PM entry start uh, of entry, of course. So that would be that minus um, the start. So let's go for the second one now. So this would be, uh, let's call it body length. And this is just size. Uh, so we don't really need to compute that. Um, and we, let's call it footer length. And this would be PM, um, or rather this would be allocation and minus, um, actually I flipped this, flipped these two around. Um, should be uh, start, because start is larger than um, the entry. And this would be, um, yeah, so this would be PM uh, entry end of, of entry minus allocation end. Um, right, so here, if uh, header length and footer length are both zero. That means that we have allocated the full range. Um, otherwise, we will need to split this range into three components, which is the header with whichever type that the range had before, the footer which with whichever type the uh, entry had before, and the body, I guess, of the allocation, which is the type that we wanted to pass here. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's check that. So if both of these header um, length is zero and um, footer length is zero, then we basically just do. Um, so we should do entry um, dot pointer is equal to pm entry um, start of entry with the new type. Right. And once we do this, normally we just return uh, true. Um, there we go. Um, right. So basically this means that the size we wanted to allocate is the same size that we have found on the, um, on the entry. So we just need to change its type and that's, uh, that's it. So now let's look at the other case. So if um, if header length is different um, than zero, um, probably you should just do is above zero. Um, here, what we need to do is um, 
we need to create a new entry from... Um, actually, no, we need to just resize the old entry. We just keep it in place and we resize it. So let's do entry um, pointer is equal to... Um, well, the pointer stays the same, I guess. So the size goes down to um, basically uh, header length. Right. Um, okay. So with this, that stays in place. And now we can go ahead and do if um, footer length is over zero. And here what we need to do is basically the same thing that we did with it. Um, I don't know where. Um, yeah, something here. So we basically check that we have enough uh, enough room to create a, uh, a map entry. And we create it and set it with the correct values. So let's just yank this from here and add it there. Um, okay, so if we have, um, so let's just call this footer entry, um, probably should have, oops, um, probably should have just renamed it. There you go. Um, right, and this would be size, no, this would be footer length. Actually, let's just do and let's rename this to um, lock size um, and rename this to um, a lock. Um, yeah, I'll look star. There we go. Um, right, so here we have uh, footer size is above zero, so we've created a new entry for it. So now the only things that remain, only thing that remains is that we create the entry also for um, our actual um, allocation entry. So let's just copy this again. And we'll go ahead and put it here. And let's just rename this from for entry to unlock entry. And that should be it. Uh, I guess the only problem that we have now is the fact that this needs to go above these two so that we don't lose um, the entry size and stuff like that. Um, and also, this here is wrong. Yeah, this here is wrong. So, um, the footer start would be basically the end of the alloc. So, that would be allocation end. And, of course, the type would be PM um, entry type of entry. Obviously. And... Um, yeah, let's just move this, I guess, uh, above this if statement here. Um, let's just try to give it a bit of space. Uh, so here we are allocating the actual allocate um, allocation entry that we want um, with the type that we pass it and with the address that we also uh Pass it. So let's uh, let's give it the address, which is the alloc start, I guess. Alloc start. And the size here would be um, just alloc size. There we go. Okay. So once we do that, then we should probably allocate the footer. Um, size first. Um, 
and then do what we need to do with this. Yeah, probably need to do that. There we go. Um, right. So that should be that should be it. So now what we need to do is we just need to um, sort entries and return true. And otherwise, um, we return false at the end of this. Um, I think that looks okay. So let's try to use this and see. Oh, right. So here's our example. Um, given our uh, existing memory map, we basically have three examples here, one that would write from the start, one that would basically um, use the whole um, region, uh, one that would read in, basically allocate a range in the middle of a memory map uh, entry, and one that would allocate a range from uh, one end of the memory map entry. Um, here it's the uh, end of it. So um, I guess let's get to it and look at what we have. Right, so here we can see clearly that we have um, three reclaimable regions that we've created. Um, so the first one is uh, this region here that starts from 9FC00 and has a size of 0x400. And you can see that this region perfectly replaces this one here that was used since we forced the allocation. Um, we have this region here that starts at uh, 0x200000 and has a size of uh, 0x100000. And this one here splits this region here that goes from um, here to BFFE0000. Uh, and we can see that it splits it to this first region here, then our region that's marked as reclaimable, then the um, third region or the footer of this um, mem or the footer of this memory map entry that basically goes from um, 0x300000 to um, the end of the original region. And for our fourth test, we have allocated from the bottom of this uh, region here. Um, and we can see that this is the original region, still marked as used. Um, and the region that we've allocated is from uh, BFFF0000 to uh, the end of the original region at 0x C000000. And yeah, with that, we should have everything we need to um, manage our physical memory now. And basically what we're going to use this for is mark some regions for specific use um, cases, uh, especially when we, when we will need to um, deal with disk reads and we'll need to allocate pages to read to. All right, so before we finish this, let's just allocate um, some ranges. So this range here um, will map as used and we'll force it. And this is where basically we have all the BIOS stuff. Um, and um, so this is, this is basically the low memory that's used by the BIOS and uh, the EBDA region, region and stuff like that. So we can just uh, mark it as used. And we probably would like to um, allocate a range for um, A000. Or maybe I should just do um, something like boot info. Yeah. And this would be our page size. And um, 
we will call this a map um, boot info. We'll create a new type for it. And of course, we'll force it. Um, yeah, we should force it. And I guess that should be it for now. So let's just go and define Um, so define a map boot info as four, and of course, um, this would need to be boot info struct. There we go. Well, that's it for today. We have uh, added physical memory management. So now we can check this of our list. If you've enjoyed the content so far, click the buttons. As for me, until next time, see ya. Peace.